Hey guys, and welcome to Chris Plays The Wolf Among Us. This is a Telltale game. It came out in like 2013, and a new one's coming out soon, so I thought I'd play this one. Let's just get started. today again if you missed it a uh, record for the date hottest ever in june uh, 103 now and that humidity looks low but remember the hotter the air is the more moisture it can hold so 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity and it is muggy out there <laughs> Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules, man. Sorry. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right. Right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. All right, all right. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Furry prick gob shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. Books. Let's go. It's useful, I guess. Take a look. Take a good look. No All right, buddy, enough now. of your shit. God damn you! No way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! You've got something on your face. 
fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> Oop. Uh, uh, I'll fucking kill you! Let's you go. fucker! What's going on? Alright, what's going on? Oh, you piece of shit. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're a little stupid right now. You're drunk, alright? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Bring it, fucker. <laughs> WQ. Calm down, sir. Ow. Gotta calm down. Sink. I think you need that knife. Jesus. For punishment. Fuck you. But. Oh. In the face. Again. Again. One more time. Uh, bed. Or er, couch. Had enough? Oh my god. Calm down. At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh. Jugular. Back off, asshole. Oh, motherfucker. Eat shit. Oh my god. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Shut up. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What's going on? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Relentless. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. You good? Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Good one. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <coughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Excuse me, madam. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! The roof of that guy. Guy's car is fucked. Yeah. Ah, shit. <clears throat> hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? Sorry, man. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. 
I called you, and you come to help. I can't be made. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, no fucking way. <laughs> That's not gonna be very much. Oh, oh my god! I know you're fucking in there! Q is hard as I can do. I'll put you out of your misery! You oh my god! Fucking mongrel! You ignorant fuck! Come on out of the wall! What the fuck? Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Let me help you. Alright, I was having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. I could have gave her my matchbook. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? I'm trying to help. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. I mean, she did save my life, I guess. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 
58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Snow can sometimes be a disciplinarian. Stay off the grass, I just read the sign. There's no walking on the grass, no White's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. So, where are you off to? Well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. Didn't say there was. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's all. <laughs> Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will. 
But I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate Big B. Boys. Check my mail. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. My wish. Okay. Suit of armor. Why can't I touch it? Poke it. I don't need to wake him up, I don't think so. Is my name gone? Oh. Damn thing fell off again. You gonna pick it up? Okay. How much longer is this going to go on? Anything else around here? Oh, wow. Nope, okay. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Uh oh. Uh, no, I haven't seen her, sorry. But... So, have you? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. drink in here why do I even own this should have got a smaller one bro's got 600 cigarettes and one bottle of ketchup damn it fill it up you fucking lazy bastard that's why it's always empty man There's a fucking pick on my in my room. Okay. Wake up, buddy. Hey. Colin. Get up. 
thought so. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, man. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. I'm pretty sure I even asked for her name. And lucky. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Hmm. Uh, OK. 
Okay. Can you calm down, please? Big B. Snow. Mm. Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? Uh, where, where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> yeah. Huh. <laughs> These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Something under the jacket. I think I could see it from there. I don't know what it was. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working oh. Woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. But you could have done that with the axe. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. I knew I saw something in her mouth. What is? It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. It's not a clean enough chop, I don't think, for an axe, I don't know. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. I think the magic one. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? <sighs> I'm 
I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Well, we should obviously investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Blood trail. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Good blood poking. Scrape of fabric. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Trash can. Something in here, maybe. Just some loose trash. Those are the cigarettes my character smokes. I'm the villain. I predicted it. That's really it, snow. Compare fabric to snow? Well, fuck it. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? I don't want to say it. It's I really don't so know. Awful. Sorry, Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. Oh, well. Pfft. My bad. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. Fuck him. This is part of the job. Don't tell him. It'll just complicate things. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. He's the mayor. Deputy mayor position's a joke. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. 